But the car is now 15 years old, going on 16. They did the oil change, it was overdue already. So I did the filter change and then uh, air filter change as well this morning. I never had a new car, always with old cars. Manfred Cole is 59. He works as a maintenance fitter, earning about $800 a week. He lives in southwestern Sydney with his partner Helen. When she still worked, it was very comfortable. But we still struggled a little bit. But we could make all our, our payments. Helen's got diabetes and high blood pressure. Two years ago, her poor health forced her to quit her job, halving the family income. If friend call you to go out, I always say, no, no, something on. I never say, I got no money. It's not so nice to tell the friend like that. You remember the river in yeah. Berriga? The one we went fishing one, yeah? Yeah, fishing and everything. They run out, out of money. And then we asked the family to chip in. And that was the hardest, the hardest part. To have to ask family yeah. for money. Very shameful. Manfred ended up using his credit card and taking out a personal loan to try to make ends meet. He now owes $48,000. So much dishes today. I tried everything what we could. He stopped eating normal. He cut back on electricity. Uh, the car I had to fix myself. So it was very hard. Australia has one of the highest levels of household debt in the world. 1.9 million Australians have problematic credit card debt, according to the Australian Securities and Investments Commission. That's almost 15% of Australian adults. I think they're going to keep us warm, isn't it? Manfred and Helen switch the lights off at six every night and go to bed to try to save on electricity. They have cold showers and they never use the heater. I didn't want to get into this, never. All my life, I was never in depths. This is the first time. It's just like you're losing control. You're not proud anymore. You're just on the floor, like a dog, a beaten dog. Manfred is charged 21% interest on his credit card debt. He's so behind that he's worried he won't be able to afford rent. That's what I'm scared of. You lose the roof over the head. You, you homeless. You got nothing. Is that what you were potentially looking at? Yeah, homeless. Be a homeless person. Sleep in the car. Until you can't afford the car, sleep under the bridge. The Salvation Army reports that over the past decade, Australians aged 55 and older are increasingly asking for help to manage debt. The most common reason people come through their doors is credit card debt, followed by personal loans and electricity bills. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Thanks. Can I grab a soy flat white, please? Yes. Unfortunately, our economy is built on credit. Many older Australians are the ones struggling with credit card debt. One of the problems is that credit cards is a very long-term product. So while it might have been affordable when you got the credit card, as your life changes, your income reduces because you're heading into retirement, those credit card limits become a real problem for you. And I think that issue needs to be addressed. Today, Helen and Manfred are meeting with their financial counsellor. Oh, good, how are you? How are you, good, Manfred? Good, good. good to see you, good Helen. To see so you. lovely to see you. Come on through. Because we need you all help. We are really in a very bad situation. I can see that. What Manfred and Helen are going through is more common than, than most people realise. Rather than paying out their credit card every month like they're used to, is pay the minimum amount. And it very quickly compounds. You want to do it together? I'm 78 years old. I started working at 16. That's uh, easily. 62 years working, yes. Louis Tolentino and his wife Nita live in a retirement village in the outskirts of Sydney. Although they're far from retired, both are still working full time. I got my, my first credit card about 30 years ago and it, it was 
a credit limit of 5,000. You know how, how much it grows when you, do, you don't have to put out any money, just flap your card there and you get what you want. So it has ballooned all these years. Uh, London, and then, and then moved to Paris, Germany and all. But the last My wife and I love to travel. It was the most beautiful place beautiful. we went. Yeah. We have gone to as many as 30 countries overseas. And uh, that's where most of the money went. Singapore is nice. Yeah. It's a nice place, but it's very expensive. Louis racked up $50,000 on two credit cards. Half his income was going to paying the minimum repayment. Up to last month, I, I was able to cover the minimum payment. But then again, I started getting worried because I know it will go higher where I can no longer afford it. If you don't control it, it can control you. That's the problem. And I continued to spend until this thing happened. But it is a very addictive thing. Due to health problems and his age, Louis's financial counsellor at Wesley Mission was able to convince one of Louis's banks to waive his debt. He still owes $24,000 though, and it will take six years to pay it off. It's on the one that's on the increase. The credit cards. The credit cards, and certainly amongst older people. You think of credit cards with young people. No, I think it's on the increase with older people. The head of Wesley Mission, Reverend Keith Garner, is seeing more people falling into a debt trap with credit cards. If you haven't got a good income, it's one way of putting off things. And paying for a bill and hoping that by the time the next bill comes, you're able to tackle things. The best customer for a bank in terms of profit is people who do not pay back their credit card on time. Um, about two thirds of Australians do pay it back on time, but more than a third, around a third of us actually uh, um, struggle to do that and pay interest. And it's those interest charges that are uh, significant, up to 20% per annum. I would be saying to the banks following the Royal Commission, following many things that have happened, what about coming to the party now and doing something in this area? Um, not to make taking money on credit cards easier, but certainly making it possible to actually assist people. If they don't waive it, I will advocate until I die, <laughs> until they do it. Financial counsellor Isis Khalil thinks Manfred and Helen have a strong chance of convincing their bank to waive their debt due to Helen's health problems. But Manfred would still like to pay it off himself, although he knows it will take a miracle to get the money. We try sometimes, you know, a little bit of money we got left, like two or three or five dollars, then we buy a lot of ticket and hope for the best. I feel so guilty when you don't pay back. It's a very guilty feeling. It's not nice. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.